Step from the shadows into the light. Meet the challenge of the city night. Now is the time to make my move. Time has come to stand and fight. What would you do if you were in my shoes? If you were me, you'd do it too. No guts, no throw back out. What did you say? I don't want to do it anymore. Oh, that's great. You don't want to do it. You know, I just love it when you little corn Fred honeys decide that you don't want to do it anymore. Tony, come on, let's go. Hey, he's beating up on a girl. She's not a girl, she's a whore. So what? Let's help her out. Help her out? We get our asses kicked. Until you pay me back for every penny I've advanced. You got that straight? Hey, how you doing? Get out of here before you get hurt. You see my little friend back there? He bet me a dollar that he can shoot you between the eyes. Now, he's a good shot and everything. But I think he's going to miss. I think he's going to shoot you in the mouth. Or he's going to shoot your nose off. And I'm going to win that bet. So... I suggest that by the time I take a drag off this cigarette, you take a walk. Otherwise, you're gonna look awfully stupid walking around without that big, ugly nose of yours. So what do you say? Son of a bitch. Did you see that look on his face? I had him. I had him. You know, you got a serious problem. Do you know that? What are you, crazy? You should see a shrink. Personally, Tony, I don't like being shot at. Well, I told you to keep your hands in your pocket. No, you didn't. I didn't? No. I mean, something like that. Now, something like that, that I would have remembered. Sorry. Let's go. Excuse me.
you doing up so early? Hmm? We're supposed to go to the cemetery this morning. Oh my god, I forgot. Hala! Yeah. Where's my coffee? I'll get it. I'll get it right away, honey. Okay? Right away. All right. Do it tomorrow. Me? Come on, tomorrow. Oh, just forget about it. Just, just, just forget about it. All right? No, tomorrow. I, I gotta, I gotta get his coffee. Start. Not to be disrespectful or anything, Tone, but, uh, we're not spending the whole day in a cemetery, are we? No. Caught him dealing. Now you guys must be lost, huh? Because I know you wouldn't ignore my warning, would you, Flint? So tell me, where are we? Falco, I swear to God, you're supposed to meet a guy here. There's no deals going down. That's no answer. I asked you, where are we, huh? It's the Bronx. Ah, and who's the Bronx belong to? You. But listen, Falco. Just let us go. Just let us go. You'll never see our face again. I didn't want to see your face this time, huh? Just let us go. Flint. I can't this time. Would you get down on your knees and beg, you pussy? Kill the tough guy. What's the matter with you? Are you deaf? Shots being fired. So what? What's the big deal? 5,000 people get killed in New York every year. Is that a fact? Yes, that's a fact. And, um, where did you read this? The New York Times? Oh, maybe the Wall Street Journal. Hey, fuck you, Tony. I mean, every time I tell you something that you don't know, you gotta go and make fun of me. No, I'm just wondering where you heard this. Listen, you tell me, smart guy, how many people get killed in New York every year? I don't know. You don't know. See? So then how do you know it's not 5,000, huh? Whoa, 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 whoa. How do you know that it is 5,000? What's your point, Tony? The point is, George, is that you bullshit a lot. You bullshit about things you don't know about, okay? So you can do that with a bum down the street, but with friends, you can't do that because you lose your credibility. How can I lose my credibility? I pay cash for everything. That's credit. Credibility is what people think. Tony, I lied. All right, I made the whole thing up. Okay, I don't know whether it's five people or five million people, but personally, I don't give a fuck, all right? <laughs> That's good. Hey, listen, I don't want to lose my credibility. I mean, it sounds like something pretty important, you know? It is. I won't do it again, all right? Okay.
much did you get? 20. Don't fuck around, George. How much did you get? Seriously, Tar, I got 20 bucks now. I'm gonna fucking hit you, George. How much did you get? I got 40, okay? I got 40 bucks. How much? 60. I got 60 bucks. There it is. Take it. You want to check my pockets, huh? No, oh, I trust you. Just 20. 20. Hey, Tom, what's with the 20? What happened to 50-50, huh? You see, maybe next time you won't lie to me, okay? Now let's go talk to Sarge. Sarge, the bombing stopped, all right? You okay? Huh? Hey, Tony. Tony. What? What's the matter with you? What are you acting so childish for Sarge for? Why? I was just playing with a guy. No, man, the guy's a vet. I mean, he fought for our country. You gotta respect that. What did you give him? I gave him the 20 he gave me. Hey, George. Um, here's 10. Hey, thanks, Tom. Ask you a question, Tony. Ask. I mean, what are we doing? We hang out. Once in a while, we knock over the grocery store. Come on, I mean, we're nickel and diamond it to nowhere. So what do you want? Let's hit a jewelry store or a bank. I mean, get some serious cash in our pockets. What the hell do you know about a bank or a jewelry store, huh? What do you know about that? You want to go to jail? Jail? Fuck jail. Falco's not in jail. I just see Falco driving around that beautiful Cadillac of his. Hey, you know what? Falco is trouble. I'm gonna ask him for a job. What are you gonna say? Hey, Falco, I'm looking for a job. Yeah. And he's gonna say, hey, kid, you know what I do? And you're gonna say, yeah. Uh, you kill people, you deal drug. And, and he's gonna say, oh, yeah? Bang! You're dead. No, you really scare me, Tony. You really scare me. Come on. Let's go to a movie, all right? What do you want to see? So, Ziggy and Luca went to East Side, and they want it exclusively. I think it's a good idea. No, it's not a good idea. Why? Because once they have it, you're never going to get it back. So if they fuck up, we take it away from them. They're giving us 50K as a sign of good faith. You put that on check, and I'll get back to Vinny. Okay. Vinny Bags, I went to pick the 20K up today, and he says you give him to the end of the month? I gave him to the end of the month. But you didn't tell me that. <clears throat> That's because he owes me the VIG. The VIG is 4-5. At the end of the month, you pick up 24-5. Okay, anything else? That's it. I'll see you. Mm -hmm. Hey, Tony! Tony, wait up, man! What? Wait! Oh, where are you going, man? I'm going through Frankie's turf. Frankie's turf? Mm -hmm. Bullshit. Every time we go through Frankie's turf, we get a beat. You know what? Tonight is our night, and they're not going to beat us up. So let's go. Hey, who's Tony? What? Come on, I don't want to go through Frankie's turf tonight. I got a new shirt on. You know what? I'm not afraid. And I'm going. Then go. See you. 
I'm going. Go. If you're going to go, go. I'm not going. I swear to God, I'm not going. Hey, Tony, wait up. Georgie doesn't understand is that Falco's busy screwing Tony's sister. <laughs> Give it to me. What the fuck is he talking about? I don't know. I don't know what he's talking about. What? What? You're on my turf. You gotta pay. So then, take it from me, asshole. We should have never gone down there. Did Why I... don't you listen to me once in a while? Yeah, did I ask you to come? Yes, you did. Every time we go down there, we got our asses kicked. Now, that's fucking bullshit, man. You know, that is not the point, George. The point is, is it's, it's the principle of it. Oh, fuck principle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Will you look at this shirt? Just look at it. It's a $20 shirt. <laughs> I, I saw you steal that, George. What's the matter with you? Yeah, I stole it, but it still had a $20 price tag on it. I think they broke your nose. I'm hungry. Let's go get something. Tony, you got another beer? No. No, you don't have another beer? No, you don't have another beer for me? I don't have one. Hey, is that Falco in there? No, it's fucking Rambo. Who do you think it is? You say that a little louder, we'll get our asses kicked again. What are you saying? Huh? That I'm afraid of the guy? Is that what you're saying? I didn't say that, all right? Shh, keep it down. Here he comes. 
Hi, Georgie. Hi, Carl. Tony? Hey. What? What happened to you? I got in another fight again. It's nothing. Hey, Mr. Falco, you want a piece of pizza? <laughs> no, George. Who did that to you? Frankie did. You shut up. Shut up. There were six of them, Mr. Falco. <laughs> six of them? Yeah, and they were big, too. Oh, yeah? Listen, Tony, take uh, the pizza to your room, okay? I got people coming over. Business. Sure, Mr. Falco. Okay. I need the space. Beat it. What's the matter with you, huh? Why do you guys act so upset for all the time? You want a piece of pizza, Mr. Falco? There were six of them, Mr. Falco, and they were big. You are a kiss-ass, Georgie. Listen, Tony, you can't freeze people out all the time. I mean, what's wrong with Falco? He takes care of you, he takes care of your sister. He takes care of my sister? He takes care of my sister. He is a scumbag, Georgie. That's what he is. You don't like the guy. Why don't you just take your sister and move out? What do you stay here for, then? What do you got to do that for, huh? You know, you ruined my appetite. Where are you going? What's wrong with you, Tony? Hey, wait up a second, all right? <laughs> Two punks going. We want to get laid. <laughs> How old are you, kid? What difference does it make? Do you want the business or what? You ain't gonna make me any trouble, are you? Oh no. Uh uh. Oh no. Come on. Please. Oh, all right. Go on. <laughs> Tony, get a load of this tree. Come on. Come on. What's your hurry? I only got a half hour. I don't want to waste it getting undressed. Yeah, let me help you with that. Want some? No. Is that correct? You catch on real fast. Where do you come from, Russia? Well, I don't want you to do this stuff. Hey, give that back to me. No. 
I'm paying for this time, so you do what I want. You can't stop me from smoking. Oh, yes, I can. What are you gonna do? Complain to the principal? don't want you to kill yourself. David, pal. Now, how do you want to do it? No. You couldn't pay me to do it with you. Well, fuck you, too. George. What the hell are you doing to me in there, huh? I was about ready to come for the second time. You should thank me. For what? For saving your life. Haven't you heard about AIDS? Not from these girls. They got doctors to check them out. You owe me 50 bucks. What's wrong? Oh, Jesus Christ. Did he beat you up? Yeah. That son of a bitch. No, Tony. It's my fault because they asked him where he was going. Where do you think he's going? He's got five other girls just like you waiting in five different apartments. That's a lie. It is not a lie, and you know it. I know what you're thinking, and I don't like it. Falco's gonna kill us. Now, how the hell is he gonna know? That guy's gonna tell him. Georgie, he won't even see us. All right? Just trust me. Trust me.
know we're gonna have to leave the state. I'm not going to Coney Island. I've been there, and I don't like it. Who's talking about Coney Island? I'm talking about California. California? Yeah. Tony, what are we gonna do in California? I mean, there's nothing there but faggots and movie stars. Georgie, we have five grand. We can do whatever hey, we want. Hey, sorry. With you got a quarter? Yeah. Here. <laughs> Here, I take this, and I get this. And with this, I crown you, Tony, King of the Bronx. Fuck that. Emperor of the Bronx. <laughs> Come up here, my little prince. <laughs> and for you, you get the Empress. The Empress. And I get the lovely little prince. My name is Marla Barrington, and I, I used to be a waitress, but I just realized that waitressing is not where the money is. No, it's true, really. So um, I'm going into business for myself. I'm going into the 976 number business. It's going to be called 976 Waitress, and this is what my service is going to sound like. To help you, sir. Yeah, is this Roman's place? Yes, it is, but the place is closed. Well, I'm his nephew. Okay, come on. Don't I have some real big glazes? <laughs> 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 glazes? Ah, 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 ah. Here's your check, sir. <laughs> hey. Hey. Tony. Hey, what happened to your head? Oh, it's, it's nothing. Ah, Tony. <laughs> uh, welcome to L.A. Thanks. This is my good friend, Fritz. Pleasure. And our beautiful singer, Sandy. Here, sit down, Tony. Thank you. How you doing? Nice to meet you. So what brings you here? Um, looking for a job. Oh, there's no work in New York, Tony? Oh, it's not that. It's just that I, um, I'm sick of New York. Everything's okay with Carla? Oh, yeah, she's fine. Ah. All right, so, Antonio, you want to learn the nightclub business, huh? Yeah, yeah. You're a good boy, Tony. Sometimes too much like your father, always in a hurry. <laughs> this is not the Bronx, Tony. If I give you a job, you got to work. I understand. I'm sorry about your father. I wanted to come to the funeral. It's, it's all right, forget about it, it's all right. 
He's a good kid, but he's hothead. I want you to keep an eye on him. He's gonna be working with us for a while, so uh, find him a place to stay. You got it. Come on, Tony, let's go. Where are we going? Take you to the hotel where you're gonna stay. What's it like? You really don't have any choice, do you? <laughs> what, what is this? Is, this, is it a dump? Well, now, when you start making your own money, you can stay anywhere you'd like, sir. Oh, yeah? How come you carry a piece? All you have to do is stay out of trouble and get to work at 5 o'clock. You know, everywhere I go, I see people, honest people that keep telling me to stay out of trouble, but they all carry a piece. You know, I'd really like to be on your side, kid. And you should listen to me, because I know what I'm talking about. Uh-huh. Well, how am I supposed to get to work? Drive bus. Right. Keys for Tony Boca. Excuse me? Keys for Tony Boca. Sign in? Yeah. There you go.
Sure, sir. You all right? Hey, forget it, kid. That girl's completely out of your league. Keep giving them some drinks and I'll sound better. Yeah, right. Listen, I, um, I want to ask you out for a date. What? I want to take you out to dinner. You mean you want to get laid? I'm not talking about getting laid. I get laid every day. Well, you do. Yeah. So, uh, you want to marry me? Who's talking about getting married? I'm talking about going out to dinner and, and, and just having a good time. Okay. We can have dinner. All right. Great. You ask Frankie to make me a seafood salad? You want to eat Frank's seafood salad? You want to eat here? Yeah. Just forget it then, all right? Just forget it. Thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome. Hey, Steffi. So, uh, what's the deal? Are we on tonight or what? Not tonight, Tony. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Come on, Tony. Okay. Can I talk to you? Yeah, what is it, Tony? I, um... I don't know how to say this. I, um... Uh, I, I need to borrow $2,000. Two thousand? What for, Tony? For wheels, man. I'm tired of taking the bus. And I want my own apartment. Uh, I'm sorry, Tony. I can't help you. Oh, you mean you won't? Save your money, Tony. You know, it's really hard, you know, staying in an apartment. You can and always stay with me. Right. All right. Be patient, Tony. Look, I'll tell you what you do. You take $10 a day out of your paycheck and put it in a bank. Pretty soon, you'll have enough to do whatever you want. You know what? I'll do that. Say. Give me some lecture about saving money. I know a guy who can get you a hot car just for a few bills. What kind of car? Any kind you want. Yeah? I'll give him a call tomorrow. Yeah, right. Thanks. Don't mention it. So what kind of car are you looking for? Just show us what you got. I got a brand new Corvette, 6,000, papers, everything, huh? Mm -hmm. Hey, what about this Camaro? Is that beautiful $4,000 safe? Hey, I got a Volvo, $1,500, but boy, is it run. All right, maybe you don't like that red Corvette. How about this beautiful silver antique one? $4,000. It moves. It's beautiful. Yeah, but uh, where can we look at these cars? You are looking at them. Just get me the money. I'll get you anything you want by this afternoon. Right, Mike? That's right. Well, do you have anything that's less expensive? How less? Thinking about 300 bucks. Are you out of your fucking mind? Why would I steal anything for 300 bucks? Come on, get the fuck out of here. You're wasting my time. Right, take it easy, kid. Just yeah. go.
crack? You wanna buy some crack? No. I don't want a gun. Who sent you? Nobody. How much you got? 50 bucks. He's got 50 bucks. John, tell our friend here what he can buy for 50 bucks. My friend? For 50 bucks? I can carve you a new asshole. <laughs> like, wherever you want it. Just wait a minute. It just cost you to talk to me. What's going on, John? Business as usual. How long have you been out? Not long enough. You got a problem with my friend here? You know him? You know this geek? He's kind of family. Well, I guess that's good for him. Just a minute. You still gotta pay. And you know the rules of the streets. <laughs> so I got. Ten bucks. <laughs> you you were gonna buy a gun with ten bucks. I wasn't gonna buy it from you, asshole. I was gonna take it from you. <laughs> Why don't you give me that gun, Tony? No. Then what are you gonna do with it? Don't worry, I'm not gonna kill anybody. Oh, I'm not worried. Hey, let me ask you something, kid. Did you ever kill anybody? Sure. I oh. killed somebody. You're bullshit. And you know what you're gonna learn the hard way? Is that how you learn? You know, I bet you must have been good when you had guts. Oh, oh yeah, really good. I had enough guts to get me put away for five years. Well, well you know, that's tough luck. No. There's no luck involved whatsoever. You know what's gonna happen? You're gonna get yourself killed, just like you would have back there if I had to come in and build your ass out. You know, kid, you... You know the way you think about surviving on the streets. What you are gonna learn about dying on the streets. Give me a break. What the hell do you think you're doing? <laughs> I just, I, I. Get I out of my to, car. I just wanted to make you shut up. I was just playing. I said, get out of my goddamn car, you punk. I don't even know where the hell we're at. I'll give you a street lesson right now. Two things you gotta remember. The first thing is you must always know where you are. And the second one is never fuck with somebody that's trying to help you. Now get your ass out of here. Get it out. Yeah, I'm sorry. Move that, you punk!
you ever so. It's so nice to see all of you. Well, what's your name? Uh, Roy. Roy, and where are you from? Right here in Hollywood. Wow, me too. <laughs> and is this your wife or are you on a business trip? Well, this is my wife. Scotch and water make it a double. And for you, Sandy? Bring the lady a spritzer. We'll offer instrument. It's too expensive. And I don't want to be in your debt. You won't be. Nice. Well, thank you ever so. Let's have a big hand for Roy. Double scotch and water and a espresso for Sandy. Yeah? Is she still sitting with him? Yeah, you should see the choker he's trying to buy her with. Yeah. I'll give him a scotch and water. He looks fish to spit. That does. Hey, Mike. Who's that guy, Milo? Don't fuck with him, Tony. The guy's a heavyweight. You know, I don't understand. Why a girl like that hangs out with a guy like that? You're the jealous type, Tony. I'm serious, Mike. I keep asking her out, and she keeps turning me down. Money, stupid. That guy can give her a diamond choker. The hell can you can afford? That's real money. How'd you like to make some serious money? What are you talking about? We take from the rich and we give it to the poor. And we're the poor. So that's my way of evening things out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I just happen to know some rich people who are going to be gone this weekend. I'm going to need somebody to help me. Yeah. What do you say? I don't know. Go ahead. 
Is that everything? Yeah, that's everything. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, yeah? Then what is this? Huh? What is this? It's an oversight. Yeah. Get on your knees. Tony, what are you doing here? I got this for you. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get this because I want to get laid. I got it because I thought you wanted it. And I want you to have it. Tony, what have you done? Milo will kill you. Milo's a no. I can't. Why not? For the same reason that I wouldn't take it from Milo. No, I don't understand you. I, I thought you wanted this. If you bought it for me, maybe. But it's stolen. It's late. You better leave, Tony. You know what I think it is? You don't like going out with bartenders. That's what it is. Good night, Tony. Right? How do you want to do it? Put this on. Sure. This is beautiful. Take it off. Look, what do you want? Do you want it on, or do you want it off? Just take it off. Okay, okay. Why don't you take a walk? Oh, come on. Look, we just got started. Get out. No, you don't know what you're missing. Get out! Look, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. What are they saying about me, Tony? That you deal drugs? Drugs? Son, I never dealt in drugs. I was set up. You know, it's important to me that you believe that. You do believe me, don't you? Yeah. Hey, where's your mama? Why she didn't come with you? She sent somebody? How's Carla doing? She don't know her? She, uh... Come on, son, spit it out. She's, um, she's okay. You know, I'm not gonna make it here, Tony. Don't 
20 years is a long time. I want you to walk a straight line, son, okay? Go ahead. Thank you for coming to see me. Okay. All right. Go on. Why'd you do it, Tony? Do what? Don't fuck with me, kid. Why'd you rip off Milo? Does he know? You do. You know, when I was your age, it was just like you. you know, I ripped people off. I dealt drugs. I broke into homes. And you know, I never really realized what anybody was trying to tell me until one day a judge said to me, eight years, and I knew what they were talking about. And every night when I go to sleep in that cell, I could hear that old bastard's voice ringing in my ears. I'd be dreaming about things like uh, driving a car, going into a restaurant, having a chocolate shake. That's nothing, kid. The worst is when you kill a man and you got a conscience. When I killed a man and, and I have a conscience. And that son of a bitch is gonna haunt me every night of my life. So he goes to bed with me every night and I see his, uh, see his relatives. And I see his mother crying. I see the little kid looking up and saying, where's daddy? That's my nightmare. I'm gonna tell you something, punk. Until you get one of your own, you're never gonna listen to anybody. So what? You came here to tell me that? No, I... I came here to tell you that you're gonna take the rap alone and, uh... If Milo finds out what you did to him, he's gonna kill you. You like it? I'll give you two grand for it. <laughs> two grand? <laughs> that thing is worth at least ten. And bring it to the jewelry mart. Maybe they'll give you ten grand for it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Give me four grand. What? Just make sure you bring everything to me first, okay? You got my word.
Bingo. I thought you said nobody was supposed to be in here. Now he saw us. Shoot him. God damn it, I said to shoot him. About him. Don't worry about him. Let's get out of here. Move! God damn it. I. I could have done something. Right for once. I, I could have just stay there. But Tony, man, Tony, you, 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 we did, man. I some flowers. Like to come in? No, I thought we'd go out. Four in the morning. It's four? D did I wake you up? Yes. Well, you know what? Then it's time for breakfast. Why not? Tony, for one thing, I'm older than you. Why don't you go out and find yourself a younger girl, somebody your age, and go with them? Because if I wanted that, I would have. Listen, Sandy, I don't know how to explain this, but when I see you up there on that stage, you're, you're special. You got it together. And I want you to be a part of my life. Tony, I'd be lying to you if I told you I didn't have feelings for you. I like you. I like you a whole lot. But we're really different. How? I want to work my ass off to make it. 
You, you want to steal it. Well, then I'll, I'll make you a deal. I'll call it quits. Oh, you kidding me? I'm serious. I've never been more serious in my life. And I want you to wear this. It's really beautiful. It's still there? No. In his blonde hair, in his wet suit, they are doing right. Maybe just for tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, all right, I'll be right there. I'll be right there. Where is she? They're in there. Tony. <sighs> I'm sorry, Tony. I'm sorry. Oh. I swear to God, I didn't do it. He accused oh, me of stealing ten thousand dollars, <laughs> and he went crazy on me. That's right. He beat me up. That's all right. And I had to leave. That's right. Jerry told me if I don't come with the money, it's okay. He's gonna kill me. It's okay. It's okay. You know what? Why don't you go in and wash up? All right, just wash up, and, and you know what? No one is getting killed around here. No one. Okay. All right? Okay. Why don't you go wash up? Okay. 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 Go. Okay. Uh. Tony, that's not the worst of it. Falco was here tonight looking for Carla. He was here? Yes. He said for you to bring the money to him at the Greasy Spoon Restaurant on Hollywood Boulevard by midnight. Or else he's coming back here. And this time there's going to be trouble. I think I'll close this place up for a couple of days, give people some time off. No, no, no. You don't have to close this place. You don't. Okay?
know what's going through your mind. You're wondering if Carla was telling the truth. You're wondering if she really stole that money. And then you're thinking about that guy Falco that beat her up, and maybe she'd go out and beat the hell out of him. And then you think, well, well, well maybe I should split and leave town. Huh? And then the thought pops into your mind, well, I just can't leave town, because sooner or later I'm going to run out of towns to leave. I've been there. So know what to do, Tony. You go to your Uncle Roman and you ask him for $10,000 and you pay this guy off. Is that what you would do? If I were your age and they did to me what they did to you and they did what they did to your sister, I'd blow their fucking heads off. Have some more coffee, please. Sure. Thanks. You should have took that kid out when we had the chance. What are we gonna do if he doesn't show up? He'll show. Yeah, but what if he doesn't? We'll visit the club.
enjoy. You gonna eat that? Go ahead. You can have it if you want. Take it. Thanks, man. Look, it's five after twelve. He's not gonna show. Okay, let's go. Charlie, get the car. Okay. got what you asked for. Whoa, whoa. Just reaching for the money, okay, Falco? She did take it. No, she did not. But where'd you get the money? Uncle Roman, he lent me the money. I want you to leave us alone. She stole it. What difference does it make? You got the money. It's gonna cost you another 10 grand, okay? You gotta fly here to get it. Tomorrow, here, midnight. I don't have to. Because I knew you were gonna ask for another 10 grand. So I brought it with me. to believe in love let me believe it now oh i want to hold on to all my dreams hold on to what they mean hold on to what seems real to give my to use this again. We've grown up a bunch since we first met. Well, I'm still looking up at you, Fitz. <laughs> talking about your heart. I've been running this joint for your uncle now for 20 years. 20 years with your uncle is like 50 years for anybody else. Well, if you're trying to tell me that you're getting old, I already knew that, Fitz. You only get old if you're lucky. It took a long time, but your uncle finally uh, has gotten a little respect for you. You know what? I always knew he had brains. I said a little respect. 
he's a, he's a crazy man. He believes that you might be able to fill my shoes. We know that's crap. Because nobody can do that, can they? What are you talking about, Fitz? No shadow. <laughs> You're a man. Let me tell you something. If that consciousness of yours starts jumping up and down on your shoulders and weighing too heavy. Remember one thing. Falco was a scumbag. And you did his mother a favor. But you know what, Fitz? I have one problem. What does that say? Well, how do I explain to Uncle Roman if in the first month I triple your gross? Don't do it. What are you going to do? I'm going to get as far away from you as I possibly can. Keep your legs crossed. Right. the shadow 